Right, I'm just moving house and um, I'm back in England, I was over in Canada, and I bought the American PS3. And I've been searching all over the internet trying to find out what I can do about my power problem. Obviously, over there, um, it's, it basically says in the instructions uh, 110 volt, and um, over here, the 240 volt. I went everywhere and everywhere and everywhere. Um, I found one website that was really good. In fact, I'll put a link that way over there for you to have a look at. It's a tear down. Um, I trusted them a lot, and I basically just stuck an everyday um, cable to it. You know, the standard two-pin cable, whatever it's called. You know, the one that everyone's got hundreds of around the house. Um, and I crossed my fingers and made the wife turn it on. <laughs> yeah, uh, she's over there. So, yeah. so made her turn it on and I took cover and it's all working really well. It's not getting hot. It's um, purring like a kitten. It's very nice. It's so small you can't see it. There it is there. My old PS3 stood next to it just there. So. Um, it's updating itself now, it's all working. Uh, I've tried an American DVD in it, it's all cool. So I've now got my Region A Blu-ray player, so I'm very happy. Um, but as what is everyone out there who's doing the same as me and searching everywhere, it's been DAC 79 approved and um, it won't break. I'll give it an hour, let's see. If you see another video up on YouTube in about an hour's time, I'll be saying, last video, it blows about for an hour of use, so fingers crossed it won't. Okay, right, um, hopefully my next video won't be me crying. <laughs>